Hello Sagittarius, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your next love coming towards you reading. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And personal readings are on sale right now. You can receive a three question recorded video reading for $25 or an hour Zoom reading for $55 and everything you need to know is in that description box below. We're starting with some overall messages and themes, Sag, and then jumping right into your tarot. We have, it was all about what I wanted. It was all about what I wanted. And I miss you. You were the best thing in my life at the bottom of the deck. Sounds like somebody's realizing where they had been kind of selfish, where it was the relationship completely on their terms. That definitely my way or the highway vibe. And definitely someone's having a lot of regrets now. It's like now that you are not in their life is when they're able to see how much value you really added to their life. And I feel like somebody really could have taken you for granted or really didn't appreciate it. They didn't see it when they had it. And now they're missing you. So we're taking a look at their feelings towards you, their intentions towards you moving forward, their next actions towards you, as well as a potential outcome. We have the Hierophant in the reverse for their thoughts. You know, to me, it's feeling very rebellious. It's feeling very, very rebellious. You know, the hair font is like things done the certain way, done the right way, the right way. Um, when it comes in the reverse, it's like wanting to go against that. It's, it's feeling very rebellious to me here. I feel like somebody could have had a hard time with commitment as well. They just wanted the relationship on their terms. Maybe they wanted to be involved with you, but they didn't want to fully commit. They have the Queen of Swords here for their feelings. So it's like really, really, really getting some clarity where they were unsure about what they wanted in the past or what was worth it in the past. I feel like they're really figuring that out now. They definitely want to have a conversation with you. To me, this Queen of Swords is a card of having that conversation, those hard conversations, hashing things out, talking things over. So somebody is realizing where they could have struggled with commitment in the past or wanted things, you know, only their way. And even the way that it's like coming out here, she's got her back turned to that. It's like they're ready to put that kind of mentality and behaviors behind them. And they're ready to welcome in something new. We have the seven of cups in the reverse. I feel like somebody's wanting to get rid of, if they've had a lot, if they were somebody who entertained a lot of people or had a lot of options in the past, I feel like they don't want that anymore. They're seeing that you are the person for them. Um, if it's not talking about other people and other options, it's just talking about in the past, not being sure what they wanted or not being sure what to do. And that is what they have the clarity on now. I feel like they're also really hoping that you believe them. That you're able to see that they are genuine. That you're able to see that they have learned their lesson here. We have the Three of Wands. So I definitely feel like they're going to be sending out some kind of message to you here. And this is in their actions. The Three of Wands to me is a card of future thinking, planning, foresight, sending messages out. It's a card of manifestation as well. Now we have the Ten of Wands. It's, it's just recognizing that things may not be easy, but that it will be worth it. I do feel like this person is concerned that maybe you are not going to be open to taking them back or that you're not going to believe them. Um, that you're not going to see the, you know, that they're ready to change. That you're not going to be able to see that they're ready to do things differently this time around. I definitely feel like somebody's recognized where they have been very selfish and everything was about them. It was all about what they wanted. And you may have felt in the past that 
you know, this person didn't really have real feelings for you or they didn't care about what you wanted or care about how you felt because of their actions and behaviors. And I feel like somebody is recognizing that here. And that's probably where some of this fear is coming in. Somebody's really missing you here and wanting to have a conversation with you. I definitely feel like there's an old mindset or old like set of patterns and behaviors that this person is ready to leave behind. But only you guys get to decide what's best for you. But that is what I have for you. This is the next person that's coming towards you. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal or personal prayers for any reason, you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you soon.